This is the lab activity for lesson 10 in which we calculate the density of rocks by measuring their mass and volume. Depending on the size of your rocks and the nature of your equipment, there are a few different ways to measure the volume. Since they all involve water, you want to take the mass of the rock first while it is still dry, since tenths of a gram do matter here. If your rock sample will fit into a graduated cylinder that has single milliliter gradations, you can measure the displacement of water directly in the graduated cylinder and get a very accurate volume for your rock that way. It helps to have the water be fairly far down so that when you put the rock in, it doesn't splash water out. And then you can tell how much volume the rock tapes up by observing the rise in water level from the initial to the final volume. This is an oceanic rock, so its density comes out close to 3 grams per milliliter or 3 grams per cubic centimeter. If your rock is too large to fit in a graduated cylinder, you will need to measure its volume via displacement in a different way. You can create a makeshift displacement can, which will allow the water to pour out. To do this, you'll need a glass beaker larger than the rock with a pour spout. Bin is helpful. Some lubricant, vacuum grease, or petroleum jelly both work. A smaller container, a graduated cylinder to measure it, and water. I'm going to start by putting the lubricant on the spout of the beaker all over the inside and the outside edge. This is to prevent surface tension from trapping the water and keeping it from spilling out of the beaker. Your smaller container goes right under that spout. And then to set it up, you need to fill it with water to the point that it literally could not hold any more without spilling over. When you put the rock in, you want to make sure that only the rock touches the water, not fingers and then you can catch all that water that spills out into your smaller container. Then use the graduated cylinder to measure the exact volume of that water. This is really sensitive, so it's important to transfer as much of the water into the graduated cylinder as possible. This is another oceanic rock, so its density is also close to 3 grams per milliliter. Finally, if you don't have a beaker, you can displace water out of any container directly into a bin. It's important to test your containers beforehand to make sure that surface tension isn't going to be an issue. This container needs to be big enough to hold the rock, but small enough to fit inside the bin. As with the displacement can method, you need to fill the container with water to the point that it cannot hold any more volume. Be very careful not to spill water into the bin before the rock is introduced. And then make sure that the rock and only the rock goes into the water, not any fingers. Then you can collect that displaced water that spilled out into the bin and once again, use a graduated cylinder to measure the volume of the displaced water, representing the volume of the rock. This rock is a piece of continental granite, so its density is close to 2.7 grams per mil. Because the density values for oceanic and continental rocks are similar, it's very important to measure volume accurately to show that oceanic rocks are more dense.